Applejack alert. Enemy bombers, in theory, are approaching the world's greatest city. While the sirens wail their grim warning, hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers scurry for shelter against the attack. Auto traffic is halted. Riders and drivers taking cover in a realistic drill for a day all Americans pray will never come. A pall of restless silence cloaks the streets and skyscrapers of New York, one of the main targets of the mythical air armada of 400 planes. Eight million people vanished from view, a lonely vigil over a city paralyzed by atomic attack. Washington, too, takes part in the most realistic nationwide civil defense exercise since the atomic age was born at Hiroshima nine years ago. President Eisenhower leads his staff to a bomb-proof underground shelter. Beneath the Capitol Dome, streets are clear. Traffic is stopped, frozen fast until the all-clear that will breathe life into the nation's capital. Chicago joins in putting its air raid defenses to the test. Police flag down cars, directing motorists to shelters. Across America, Canada, Hawaii, and Alaska, the story is the same. The sirens have sounded. A nation stands still.